we are going to have a short introduction to some of the problems which we are doing in uh, in my class and i want to just compare the results with stat pro or some application for the matter so that the relevance comes out and i also thought that it might be good to suppose we can introduce uh, this this platform also to the people who may not be very familiar so here i am making this movie i trust it's useful for all we'll see that it's a very easy uh, platform uh, when we use stat pro and it's really fast i spent around uh, 30 seconds just talking to you guys but then here we go so this is the opening screen choose the units and then we go ahead of course we get the project planner which i'm not using as of now so the default grid comes up because i wanted to do the beams so i've got a cantilever beam which is uh, three meters long so it extends to the x direction so i've given that and i'm going to say that a node a is a node a is the first node and uh, node b is two now this is done so here we go i give two that connects the beam in stat pro you just need to go according to the steps if you need to add a plate add its surface all the blah blah so next i come to general here we need to again go by the steps you define the property so for my um, for my uh, example i'm using a beam which is uh, 0.45 meters deep and which is 0.3 meters wide the material is actually steel so i add it had i selected the element i could have just assigned it directly there so here i go i assigned the member now i need to give a uh, it's a cantilever so i need to alloc allocate a support there's no specification which i want to assign i go to the support i want to create a new support it's a fixed support i can just assign because i've selected it there that, that's it and then we've got a three we've got a let's see the load at the free end is 10 kN. now i go for the loads in definition here it's uh, we just need to create a load case i don't have any other load case i'm just giving one i'm particularly not bothered about what the uh, thing is so under the load case i can add loads so here i need to add a point load it's going to be a nodal load so here i go and fy is actually acting downwards it's 10 kilo newton you can look at the uh, uh, this one the axis given over here so that talks a lot about what is going to be positive what's going to be negative now i want a load uh, just make a note i've done it in f5 now i need a load here at this end acting in the downward direction which is the opposite side of the uh, positive y axis so i go again i can just select a node this is the node cursor so it selects the node and i go to this load and i can just give assign to selected nodes that's it now we are done the loading is done the whatever is required is done now i've done whatever i wanted with this tab strip i go to the analysis print i don't want any detailed print so just give add and that's that's about it we are through so we run the analysis Control F5 is the shortcut. Zero errors, zero warning. So that's it. And now let's see how we are going to uh, get the results. Now the the yeah, this is a beam. So I go to the post processing. This is a load case I need. So that is that's the only load case also. One of the easiest ways to check the results of a beam is double clicking the beam. Here I get the bending moment, and you will see that it is uh, 10 into 3, 30 kilonewton meters. It's perfect, and you also can check the shear 10 kilonewton from one end to the other. Great, you don't have any bending about Y or Z, so that's clear. Now, here we go. We look at the global deflection in the Y direction, so it is parabolic in nature and it's coming as 0 0.196. Now please give me a minute. I'll just uh, check it on my calculator. So here I'm using the I used a unit load method for this particular problem, and here the unit of measurement is also kilonewton in, and uh, meter, and I got it in that unit, so that doesn't matter much. 
of course you guys you, if you're interested you may go through the other video for which i'll give the link below where we are solving it in the long form method so and also i'll be using uh, the same problem for some of the other methods also so there we go guys here it is 10 into 27 divided by 3 into 2 into 10 power 8 oh yes i forgot um, one of the things is uh, we need to have ensure that uh, the value of Young's modulus is the same as what we are going to plan to use now i am using 2 power, 2 into 10 power 8 so which should not have been the case here what happens is the easiest way to change it is in the editor i go to steel and i look at the unit over here so it is 2.05 i don't want 2.05 i just need it as 2.00 so i am changing it i give save i close this and yeah so i run the analysis the shortcut is i'm sorry yeah here it is shortcut is control f5 so that's done but let me just finish it off here 2.8125 into 10 power minus 3 okay so that gives me 0. Point, well here we go now 0. 0.16 i am standing in the y direction so z I'm, I'm getting 0 0.016 and here the answer is coming as uh, 0 0.201 there has been some rounding errors or something of that sort which is causing this error to appear but what we need to do is it's matching almost closely to the answer which we have so guys i trust that you find this useful and put this to good use bye bye